Hey YouTube, this is We All Juggle Knives. I just finished doing a lot of hard use testing of this K-Bar Kukri Machete. All right, let's roll in all the testing footage. Okay, well the smaller pieces of wood, no problem batoning those with the K-Bar, right? But we still have a lot of durability testing to do, machete or not. I want my stuff to be durable. All right, so let's go smash this. Alright, well the K-Bar smashing the, you know, chopping the heck out of this. I want to show you how it can chop uh, with the grain. Just, there's <laughs> a bird over my shoulder. Alright, so chopping like this. Let's see how deep we can sink this in. Alright, and just to be thorough, let's test out uh, the tip of the K-Bar. All right, let's discuss the blade shape and, and what different techniques this blade shape allows. First of all, it's a little bit less curved than most Kukuris. Consequently, it has a little bit more thrusting ability. You can actually thrust. You can actually thrust. You see that there. All right, so it has thrusting ability. Now, the forward angle here results in the belly, the belly being forward, which puts it in an ideal an ideal position for slicing. This shape right here allows you to keep a strong hand position, meaning a, a straight wrist, and yet still get in uh, good slicing. Imagine this was the surface of, uh, let's say, an enemy combatant. All right, it's right there. It's right in the the ideal the ideal spot to get in a slice. As far as the inside curve of the kukuri, that has a sickle effect. A sickle is a farm implement. I'm sure you've seen what a, you know what a sickle is. It bunches up material and forces it to be cut right there. That's true of uh, vegetation that you're trying to cut down like a sickle. It's also true of any sort of, like I said, an enemy combatant. Okay, if this is the bad guy, okay, that's a sickle right there. I'm being careful, but that's a, that's a sickle effect. This blade shape also allows for rapid chopping because the, because the sweet spot 
is forward, uh, your chops are going to be shorter, but they're going to be faster. Okay, so it's like a woodpecker or wood chipper effect, you know. A lot of short, strong chops makes it a good chopper. This is a very strong design because, because of the curb, the force of the chops kind of focuses on this part of the knife. Rather than a conventional knife, the force of the chop would tend to all coalesce right there. Okay, here's a size comparison for you. Again, I hope the wind is not bothering you as it is me. But check this out. We're talking some big blades here. Um, you got the Woodsman's Pal on the far right and then the K-Bar Kukri next to that. The next to that is the Condor. Uh, that's the Pack Go Lock. And next to that is the Essie Hunglas. The, the Essie Hunglas, I believe, is the smallest of all of these. It's, it's definitely smaller than the Woodsman's Pal and the Kukri. And the Hunglas is a huge knife. All right, so we're talking a lot of metal here with this uh, kukri. Did this blade survive the chopping and all the other stuff? Yeah, it did. I mean, you can see uh, you can see the edge right there. You know, sure, it's it's beat up and scuffed up, but the edge itself, the edge itself is still fine. Uh, well, actually, there's a tiny nick right there. I don't know if you can see that. A tiny nick right there. But I mean, considering the hard chopping and stuff, I mean, that's, a, that's tiny, you know, but basically all in all, um, the edge survived, you know, all in all, this is a very durable item. All right, so you got nylon here, and then it's leather backing here. You got this D-ring for lashing. All right, this is your belt loop. It's on a swivel. Right, you got two retaining straps, button closures. Uh, the sheath does hold it in fairly well. It's a great item. I mean, it basically survived abuse. Okay, abuse. This is a machete. I like chopped through a pallet um, as if it was like a rescue hatchet. Okay, so that's definitely above and beyond what a machete is, is supposed to be able to do. You know, as far as machetes go, light, medium, or heavy, this would be a medium, a medium class machete because um, it's not flexible, all right? Uh, a light machete uh, will flex. This does not flex, so I'd consider it a medium duty machete. The price on this, the price is right in my mind, very reasonable. Good job, K-Bar, keeping it affordable. All right, hope you enjoyed the review. This has been We All Juggle Knives. I'm out.